Welcome to this video where we're going to discuss factors. So I've had some questions about what is a factor and if I don't know my times tables, how can I work out if a number is a factor of another number? Well, let's bring it back to manipulatives. And if you enjoy using manipulatives, please make sure that you subscribe to our video series at the end of this video. Every multiplication can be represented as an array. And here I've represented the multiplication of three times four, three rows of four to get 12. And we can see that the array has a side of three, another side of four, and that the total within the array is 12. The sides of the array are the factors. So we know that three is a factor of 12 and four is a factor of 12. What about if I asked if five was a factor of 12? Well, I've got 12 counters. Can I form an array using the 12 counters, which will have a side of five? If I can, then five is a factor. So let's try five, five, and unfortunately two left over. Five isn't a factor of 12 because I can't form an array of 12 items with one side being five. We know that five is a factor of 10. And we know if we divided five into 12, we would get two with a remainder of two. So if your child is having difficulty understanding factors and they're not remembering their times tables, well, so strongly encourage you to get them practicing their times tables with a visual along with the statement of the, the multiplication table. I don't think it's, it's necessarily great for kids just to learn three times four equals 12. I think they need to see an image with that to assist. But if they're having trouble with their factors, one way to get them to continually check is to see if they can make an array with that side. I hope you found this explanation of factors useful. If you have, please make sure to hit like and subscribe to our video channel. Thank you.